If a preacher told you to go and sell your property and give it to God, you'll probably, only God knows what you'll do. Peter, I'm sure it was Pete, maybe it was James, I don't know. But somebody told those, those precious early, early believers, go sell your property. Bring it here. Not one except Ananias and Zephara held back. That was aggressive giving. That was not the kind of giving that was reluctant. And it says, none lacked among them after they gave. After they gave. Read your Bible. After they gave in that same chapter, none lacked. None lacked. So they gave and then none lacked. Which means God blessed them. Yesterday I was so, I was so, I was so startled last night. Because I was watching, I think it was Benny Hinn. He just did a broadcast that last night. I mean, that last night was when he was doing the teaching. That last night. And then he said something that just made me shook my head. And I said, why are you lying? I didn't know when I said it. He said, in the book of Acts, the Bible says, people sold their properties and brought to the church. And because of that, God blessed them that none of them lacked. I didn't know when I said, why are you lying? Go check it, it's on YouTube. It's not, uh, I'm not forming something. I said, why are you lying? That is because they brought and put their, their things at their apostle feet. That is why they were so blessed that they didn't lack. The Bible says because they brought it to the apostles feet, what they brought was distributed so that nobody was lacking. It doesn't mean that they gave so God now prospered them not to lack. That is the immorality that prosperity preachers use. They use that immorality in the abuse of the context of scripture. And he kept emphasizing it. He kept emphasizing it. Oh, that because they brought, God blessed them. That you have to bring if you want to be blessed. No. No, sir. You're lying. You're lying. With all due respect, Pastor Benny, you're lying. You're lying. And lying in public. Stop it. You're lying. There is nothing you give to God that makes God bless you. God gave you. That is why you are blessed. He gave you himself. That's why you are blessed. Jesus fulfilled the law. All the demands of the law were fulfilled by Christ. All the demands. He fulfilled it so that you have no demands of the law to fulfill. If you will have to meet the demands of the law, then Jesus died in vain. He fulfilled all the demands of the law. 